You can only truly understand someone if you know the same pain. That is the philosophy of Nagato slash pain from Naruto. That is the philosophy he emphasized as he destroyed the village of Konoha, claiming the lives of most of its inhabitants. It is hunt for Naruto to extract the nine-tailed fox within Naruto. Of course, Naruto Shippuden. Now, I'm going to tell you about how philosophy... No, Payne's philosophy affected my own philosophy. Those words, those essential words that I heard, everything I heard from Payne, it changed my worldview. And as I learn more about the pain that is so selfishly and needlessly caused and inflicted by everyone onto each other in this accursed society that I live in, it just became dawn more and more on me. The words became stronger within me. I resonated with them more. I learned more about pain. I learned more about understanding. And eventually, after months of thinking, and even up to not even that long ago, I came to the ultimate philosophy related to pain and suffering. Only those who selfishly inflict pain onto others and or manipulate them are the ones who deserve pain. However, we all need to experience pain. It's part of what makes us human. That is my philosophy now. As fascism grows around the world and... Things like drag are banned in multiple American states. It becomes more clear to me what pain is and how much of it is needlessly inflicted onto all of us. Pain is one of the few ultimate truths in this world. God is not because God cannot be proven to exist. Or proven to not exist. And until that's figured out, if God does in fact exist and we finally find solidified evidence for God's existence, God is not a ultimate truth of this world. So we must all learn pain. Know pain. Understand it. Avoid needlessly inflicting it onto ourselves and others. And choosing a path that incorporates logic, kindness, and the lessons of pain. Pain may be one of the keys to change this world. You must... Always question things. You must question how society runs. Society is run by cheap labor, blood, sweat, tears, misery, empathy, logic, kindness, determination, confidence, and so much more. It all melts down to the same stuff. And we must always go by the reasoning of pain. And we must oppose those who selfishly inflict pain onto everyone else just because they aren't getting their own way. We must reject those who reject the existence of COVID and its continued threat on this world because it is all needless pain. 
The continued COVID pandemic is all avoidable, needless pain and suffering. All to grow the economy. Unbelievable. Remember, pain.